Good evening, America, and welcome to New November Presents Truthfully XL. And tonight we're going to be talking about, uh, you mean, you read the title. Who you, who you calling a bitch, man? Like, when is it appropriate to fight for your lady? And when is it appropriate to just leave that thing to the streets? Now, hmm, in my personal experience, right? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I smoke. Um, in my personal experience, it just depends on the lady, really. It just depends on the lady. Because some girls, all women, all women are going to want you to fight for them. All women are going to want you to protect their honor and, and, and defend them and no matter what. You know what I mean? Some niggas are like, man, I ain't about to be fighting out here for no bitches. If a nigga want that bitch and she rolling, then fuck it. Take her. And to an extent, I can agree. Because if she's rolling with it, then fuck it. You know what I'm saying? If she with it, if she with that nigga, then fuck it. Let her let, let live and let live. You know what I mean? But I will say this. I've been on the opposite end of it, right? Well, I mean, I've been on both sides of it. I've been on the one side where... You know, your lady's like, man, this nigga won't leave me alone. Like, woo, 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 woo. Like, what you mean to tell him? I got blocked him. He hit me up from these other numbers. Like, this nigga. And with that, that's not a situation where you back down. You be like, man, just ignore that nigga. No, that's not what the fuck she want to hear come out your mouth. She want to hear you say, man, give me that nigga number then. Man, where he stay at? Where his grandmama stay at? You know, she wants, she wants you to say some shit like that. Well... With warning, though, with warning, if you're going to say some shit like that, you got to live that shit. And if you're not the type of nigga to live that shit, then don't say that shit because she's going to expect you to live on that. And if you don't live on that, she she going to bring it up in the, in the future. Oh, but you ain't do that to that. Da, 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 you know what I'm saying? So it's a dicey game. Me personally, no, I'm going to see about that situation, though. I believe that in other situations where it's like, oh, man. I just met Shorty. She got all this. She got baggage. She got these niggas jumping out the you know, and she got all these niggas doing all this bunch of different shit. Man, it's up to you. Judgment call. How much do you like her? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? There's some girls in this world, bro. You may not believe this shit. They want you to die for them, for them, for their love. And some of them are worth it. I'm sure some of them are worth it. But you gotta be sure that you like. I got brought this up to my lady earlier, right? You, this generation is, is is spoiled. We can swipe right, we can swipe left, we can just, you know what I'm saying, get what we want. You know what I mean? Like, we're not get what we want, but we have access to all these things that we think we deserve to have. And we, you know what I'm saying, we're going to go after those. Instead of getting to know people and making a genuine connection with the people that, that, that are surrounding us. You know what I mean? And... I believe that all girls want a nigga that's going to defend them. All women want a nigga that's going, you know what I'm saying, be somewhat macho. You know? Now, if, if like on the other end of the spectrum, if you a nigga trying to go smack at a shorty, but she got a nigga, and she telling you how trash she is, and she just can't leave him because of this reason and that reason or whatever, and she just on the fence about it, but she really thinking about letting you pipe down, test them. <laughs> test the nigga. Test him. See what he shit. See, see. Say, look. Tell him. Just be a man about it. I like her. I'm trying to talk to her. I mean, you're not really. You know what I'm saying? So, what's 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 up? What we doing here? If he say fuck you, nigga, suck my dick. Then um, <laughs> handle that. Handle that. You know what I'm saying? Talk to that man. <laughs> talk to that man. Talk right into that nigga's shirt. Talk to him. Make sure that he feels your wrath if you that kind of nigga. Because I believe in I believe in karma, of course. But at the same time, I think we create our own karma. We create our own destiny a lot of times, bro. You got you gotta pick and choose, you know? And and a lot of times niggas niggas in relationships they get comfortable and complacent and they're like, Oh, you wanna talk to another nigga? All right then bye, fuck it. It's not that she wanna talk to another nigga, it's that she feels like she's missing something here with you that she feels like you should be giving her by this point in the relationship. And so now that she feels like you're not giving it to her, she's trying to see what the fuck, you know what I mean? Just as a nigga would do. You feel me? And I believe that 
she had like she doesn't have I want to say she has that right cuz nobody should be like searching for something else when they're with somebody but she she can only she can only feel right in doing it. You know what I'm saying? She can only feel right in doing it if if she's giving you ample opportunity to make those adjustments and you're just not doing it and another nigga step up, then I mean, hey, you as a man got to make that that judgment call. Are we fighting over a bitch or are we fighting over my future wife. With that being said, man, it's been uh, it's been another true great truthfully XL man. I just I just had some shit on my chest, a little shit on my mind. I just wanted to you know what I'm saying talk to y'all, talk to the people, see what y'all was thinking. With that being said, thank y'all for listening, and I'm out, man.